get this note from Symphonia Cape Town. Oh yes, Microsoft is in. You know, they will find a good person in the Durban area. And then I'm thinking, okay, I wonder who they're going to send. There is a Microsoft office in Umtata. It's got nothing to do with Montland. I get an email from one of the top five leaders in Microsoft, a globe-trotting young woman called Mohobile Jamin. She says, I can uh, partner with that principal because I work three days in Joburg and two days in Durban. <laughs> and so I read the email and then I say, okay, take what you get. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Which is why probably she's not here. She is probably some way in the universe. But I love, <laughs> I love the way you quickly uh, became a, a, a partnership. Talk about that and then tell us what you want to say. Okay, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, yeah, first and foremost, I'd like to say thank you to Ukoko and Mungabai who brought me to the program. Mungabai is here. Yes. <laughs> okay, and also thanking Umobile for being in the program with us as partners. One say, as one has already said in the video, that you find that when you come to a new school as being a principal in the late principal in high school, it's very challenging. And in a school that is known that it has been disastrous for many years, it has not been performing. So that is the first challenge. Then I said to myself, then if I have this partner with Group Mobile, that is the opportunity I need to grab because the challenge that we, we have in our school is math and science only, which is leaving us down. So if one could get something that will be boosting the level of participation of learners in terms of math and science, then which means we should be out of the pockets in our discussions with Mobile. And from there, we, we, we really focused on it, looking at some extra classes that we'll be having on Saturday. And fortunately, we found an, an, an NGO, it's an NGO which we work with, which is a BPLSM, which is Bright Life for Physical Science and Maths. We, we try by all means, every time, every day we're at school, from Monday to Saturday, we are at school. At night, you are there for preparing for the exams. But then, what I suppose can say is that Mobile uh, I've learned a lot from here. The kind of support, even if she was not around, always around in Devon, she would be kind of like giving me a call in terms of the management of some issues and also trying to get something that is there is a part that I've learned, part of the gift of saying uh that is to something to motivate them, these learners, perhaps you know the background, their background. But then we have to motivate them and give them love. We come to school and speak to them in the classes. They can't she did when she had, she had time and have the meetings with the HOT, have the meeting with, with, with all with the whole group in, in, in the science department. But we, we hope we had we said it's okay, maybe it will work out. <coughs> but to the surprise, we had a, a, a slight improvement. It's not like we are really out of the bracket of 60%, but we're close to 60%. From 37%, we moved to 53 for mm -hmm. I strongly believe that is for partners and disabilities, the way we're handling issues has been difficult. The management that I've been working with, I really need to thank them. Some of them are here. They've been very supportive to me to see that we are achieving something. And this year, for all, we said we are pledging not only as The experience one is having yes. uh -huh. uh, definitely. If, but it's not, it will not only be less than you can I promise. You. Thank you for the experience that you gave us. And you have been very passionate. <laughs> uh, as Timberly have said, we really don't neglect uh, uh, your, 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 your emails and what you you, but you respond. Uh, but you knew you, you, all of us. <laughs> that wasn't a problem to you to cope with us. Thank you so much. And the group that you have been with. enough to go to a failing school <laughs> and she, she went in with her eyes open and so I'm interviewing her and I'm saying okay so what do you think you're going to do she goes I've got a huge problem I've got more teachers than I need to have here number two these children are not really doing well and then I said what else are you going to do she goes 
I'm going to add another subject. You know, I, you, I know all of those things, so I'm going to be watching you. Already done it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> she did it science. Because she was like, this school is in two section of Lazi. Mm -hmm. If you notice, the, the buildings are this kind of like apartheid kind of school buildings. And it's as old as the years. Mm -hmm. And so she's doing a great job. Thank you, everybody.